half hour. Millions of Americans really choose to go under the knife for cosmetic procedures every year. But how much do you really know about your surgeon and what you're about to do? Yeah, would you want your gynecologist to give you a facelift in New York? You can. Kirsten Cole has this eye-opening report for us. Yeah, guys, not only can any MD do any cosmetic surgery like breast implants and lipo, some are finding ways to get around the laws meant to keep you safe. They are operating in surgical suites that have never been inspected, have no oversight for the surgeries or anesthesiology, and we want to advise you some of the video you are about to see is graphic. Each of these moms wanted curvier, firmer bodies with a little bit of surgical help. They chose liposuction, breast implants, and fat transfer from this doctor, Eamon Shaheen. What they didn't know, he's not a plastic surgeon. He's actually an OBGYN who's been sued for malpractice multiple times and now runs a midtown plastic surgery mill that operates round the clock for cash. Carolyn Robinson, a mother of two, was sold when she heard the celebrities he'd worked on, Nia Lee of love and hip-hop fame. Dr. Shaheen is the number one doctor for liposuction. And Renee Graziano of Mob Wives. Just afraid. But Robinson didn't get the celebrity treatment. Instead, she says she was among patients who spent days in this tiny waiting room as Shaheen worked round the clock, keeping them drugged with pills and found out too late he operated on her without a nurse or anesthesiologist, giving only local numbing skin injections. I said I need back my money for my breast. He sent another doses of pill. That's when I started getting weak, sleepy. Shaheen proudly touts his surgical skills on YouTube, showing off the curves of his signature Brazilian butt lift doing breast implant surgery, all with local anesthesia only. Women push you to be really excellent in things that, care, that they care about. So liposuction, dress, face, buttocks. But Carolyn says Shaheen botched her body contouring lipo and breast surgery, only doing half the job. He just put the implant in and stitched me up. He never gave you the breast lift. He never gave me the breast lift, never gave me the breast tightening. Now she says her breasts are sagging and she has weird bulges in her tummy after surgery in eight sites, which her own doctor said was too much in one day. She paid 14500 in cash. In cash. Have you ever gone to another doctor that only takes cash? No. I have to wear a Pilates mat. Laverne Gordon paid $6,000 cash for her liposuction with Shaheen and is now wearing this setup, a girdle over a workout mat stuffed with a book. Shaheen told her it'll flatten her tummy and fix her uneven waist some four months after her surgery. I think he brainwashed me, told me I'm going to make you look good. I'm going to give you the body that you want, so that's the reason why I went through with it. But with dubious medical practices. When I went there, there was like six people waiting in front of me. Three to four days, they slept there. And in New York, it is legal for any type of doctor to do any type of cosmetic procedure, and they can do them in non-inspected ORs, provided they only use local anesthesia and mild sedation. Liposuction amounts must be kept below 500 milliliters, about two cups. But there is absolutely no inspection of these surgical facilities, no enforcing of the drug or lipo rules by anyone. Shaheen has never had his OR inspected or accredited as safe or sanitary, according to the New York State Health Department. Office-based surgery suites that do significant operations should all be accredited. Yes. Dr. Hector Vila is a board-certified anesthesiologist and is part of one of the accrediting agencies that inspects office-based surgery centers. He's sounding the alarm about uninspected ORs, warning that doctors can be putting patients' lives at risk. Surgical offices are trying to, to do the, the bigger operations by skirting around the rules, uh, by using large doses of local anesthesia, uh, doing multiple surgeries. Those log large doses of local anesthesia can result in toxicity, and there's been some deaths here in Florida. A third patient also told us of her botched $6,000 surgery, meant to rid her of these rolls on her back and flatten her tummy. I'm only halfway done. Half of my stomach is done. Despite starring in YouTube videos when we went to interview Shaheen about his patient's allegations of unsafe practices, he would only talk by phone. Can you tell me about your sanitary procedures? Are you washing surgical instruments in whole bathways, bathrooms?
these women now all wish they'd asked more questions and investigated the doctor before handing over their hard-earned cash. My money is gone. I have to pay back the bank the loan. Oh, bottom line, do research beyond a YouTube clip and Yelp, especially when it comes to things that can impact your life. We've put a guide to research tools on pix11.com slash as seen on pix11, as well as a questionnaire that you can print out and take with you when you interview a potential doctor. And I use those words yeah, precisely, them. Yeah. interview them. Yeah, did any of these women do their due diligence on this doctor? They or they just went on his celebrity the reviews stuff? reviews and the celebrity thing really sold them. Yeah. I know, I get it. It really does. You think if a celebrity does it, gosh, it's got to be good. And a lot of people really believe if you're a doctor, you're doing the right thing.